What's going on YouTube? I'm Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances, primarily, but also give you guys some style and fashion tips as well. So, if you're into looking good and smelling great, I think I could be of service to you. So make sure you hit subscribe, and don't forget to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload new content, you'll get notified. Also, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do so. Head over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at the underscore bow tie fragrance guy i do a little bit more of my style and fashion stuff over there on, on instagram so make sure that you follow me on that platform so on today's video guys i want to be talking about my 10 favorite pickups so far in 2024 i think it's well documented at this point how i feel about a lot of the design of fragrance releases price wise creativity um, all that stuff is lacking in my opinion have so many fragrances now that I've kind of slowed down just not buying everything every design of fragrance that comes out again if it's not anything that's that's really uh, grasping or capturing my attention and something I really want to add to the collection I haven't been picking it up so you're gonna see on this list there are a lot of fragrances there's some discontinued things or hard to get fragrances that I've uh, been happy and lucky to procure a bottle of and stuff like that you'll see more of those kind of fragrances uh, on the list uh, fragrances that have been well um, at least talked about very highly by other folks that I've always wanted to get my hands on those are the kind of things I've been grabbing so anyway I'm gonna run the intro when we come back my 10 favorite pickups so far in 2024 if you want to see what's on the list you know the routine keep it locked right here let's get it The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Now, this first fragrance comes from the brand of Carolina Herrera. It's like their uh, kind of exclusive line, if you will. Uh, I talked about this fragrance on a previous video. This whole collection uh, is pretty good, in my humble opinion. And this one is called Nightfall Patchouli. All right, and what you're going to get here is benzoin, patchouli, and cinnamon. As some of the main notes, guys, this is so good. <laughs> what is gonna kind of put you in the mind of primarily like a Wajan from Parfums de Mali, Ombre Nargile from Hermes, those fragrances that have that apple pie, as I've described, that apple pie kind of scent profile to it. That's exactly what this is gonna mind, remind you of, but I get more of that patchouli in this and I love it. That's why it's on this list. Although I have several fragrances that kind of fit this this profile, this scent profile, I can't get enough of it. And so that's why this is on the list, man. Again, if you're looking for a great patchouli fragrance that may put you in the mindset of a, like a Wajan or something like that from Parfums and Marley, put your nose on this one, guys. It is fantastic. This is called Nightfall Patchouli. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list of my favorite pickups so far this year I heard a lot about this fragrance and this was as good as advertised. It's probably even better uh, than what I imagined it would be. From the brand of YSL, this is from their La Vestia de Parfums collection. And this one is called Baby Cat. This is Baby Cat, what you get is black pepper, saffron, and vanilla. That's some of the main notes. Oh, man. This collection, um, I've, I've kind of explored the Dior line. I'm currently kind of going through this in Chanel, uh, the less exclusive Chanel collection, just kind of really uh, exploring some of the fragrances that I really want in my collection. Again, I'm, the regular designer fragrances are not doing it for me right now. So let's go high-end designer. Um, and this one really, really blew me away. Uh, again, not the hugest fan of most vanilla fragrances, but this one is top of the line, top quality. I honestly think this is my favorite uh, from this collection now. And that's saying a lot because they have a lot of great ones in this collection. Captain, Tuxedo, Trench. But this is right at the top of the list now. If you're looking for a spicy vanilla fragrance, this is one you gotta smell. From the brand of YSL. Again, this is called Baby Cat. Speaking of the Chanel Less Exclusive Collection, I was very happy to procure a bottle of this. 
around 2019, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Chanel went from doing EDTs in this collection to doing EDPs. Now, I've heard a lot of people that have had, had a chance to get their hands on some of the EDTs that they perform even better than the EDPs. We're going to find out now because I was able to procure a bottle of 31 Rue Cambone from this collection. And this is an EDT and it is one of my favorite pickups so far this year. From Chanel, 31 Rue Cambone. And what you get with this one pretty much is iris, patchouli, and aldehydes. Now, I don't see, didn't see aldehydes listed as a note, but I know aldehydes when I smell it. There are the aldehydes in here. So this is really clean, floral, uh, a clean floral fragrance. Again, that aldehydes get that really soapy quality to it. And that's kind of the staple for a lot of fragrances from this Chanel Less Exclusive collection. The one word I would use to describe most of these fragrances is elegant. And when you wear an elegant fragrance, you wear something that's really clean like this, it pairs well with the suit. And you guys know that I wear suits quite often. So really happy to have this in my collection, uh, experimenting with this now as far as the performance and things of that nature. Kind of, I know fragrance from, the fragrance is gonna differ, but kind of comparing this to some of the EDPs that I have from this, this less exclusive line. But enjoy the scent profile, one of my favorite pickups so far. This is called 31 Rue Cambon. And from this next fragrance, it confirms that I've been on this exclusive line uh, kick, these high-end designer fragrances. That's kind of been my thing uh, for, uh, for a little while here. But this one comes from the Christian Dior, uh, La Collection Privé Collection. And this one is called Santal Noir. Right, what you get with this one pretty much is sandalwood, ambret, and musk. This is so good. This is so good. Um, may kind of put you in the mindset of a lighter, more creamier, creamier sandalwood version of like an ombre nomad almost from Louis Vuitton. I kind of get that kind of vibe from it. Um, but again, this is more based around the sandalwood stuff. I think Rose may be in this as well. But guys, just a beautiful, spicy, primarily spicy sandalwood base fragrance so glad to have this in my collection by far one of my favorite pickups so uh so far this year this one and another one i'm going to talk about later on this list a little bit harder to get i think in some places uh parts of the world this one has been discontinued i think uh overseas somewhere is still like readily available at one of the chanel uh boutiques but anyway happy to have this in my collection uh sandalwood is just outside of my top six uh, favorite notes in fragrances. So I still love the note of sandalwood. And now this is one of my favorite sandalwood fragrances. From from Christian Dior, I'm sorry. This is called Santal Noir. So happy to have this in my collection. Now this is one that I've heard a lot of great things about and I can confirm it's as good as advertised. From the brand of Les Indimodables, this is called Vani Havan. Vani Havan. And what you get here guys pretty much is tobacco, cacao, dried fruits and rum this is so good jesus this is good i'm gonna spray this one time oh this is so good you talk about an authentic smell of tobacco again these are smaller bottles this is only a 50 ml but man does this thing pack a really powerful punch it performed great it smells of very high quality. This smells just like, like raw tobacco. If you put it in your hand and you rub some tobacco in your hand, it smells like tobacco. But then you have the sweetness in there. It's a little bit smoky. This is a phenomenal, this is a phenomenal fragrance, guys. It's as good as advertised. Definitely one of my favorite pickups so far. From the brand of Les Indimidables, this is called Vani Havana. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Royal Crown. So many good ones in this 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 house, but this is my favorite. This is called Eatsma. Eatsma. What you're gonna get here is peach, tobacco, oak moss, and vanilla. Man, this is so masculine, but at the same time, it features that note of peach, and that's. Probably when most people think about fragrances, when they think of the note of peach, they probably, of course, more associate that note with more uh, feminine-leaning 
or unisex type fragrances, but guys, this is really, really masculine because the tobacco is very dominant, but it some way, somehow, it finds a way to really feature that peach note up top. This is phenomenal. I am so glad I found out, found out about this fragrance and added it to my collection. I thought I would like it, but I didn't just like it, I loved it. One of my favorite pickups by far this year from the brand of Royal Crown. This is called Eat Smile. All right guys, the next fragrance that is one of my favorites so far this year is another one of those that was recently discontinued, so I went ahead and grabbed a the bottle. They have it in a newer, more modern presentation, but this is one of the older bottles. I think there's three different presentations of this. One has a little, uh, one of those little uh, bottle uh, things on the sprayer, one of those little, uh, I don't know exactly what you call them, but I'll put a picture of it. Uh, here but anyway this fragrance is from the brand of Guerlain and this is Tonka Imperial. Tonka Imperial this is almond, tonka bean and a little bit of an incense in the background this is so good if you love tonka bean as I've said before this is one of the best tonka bean fragrances ever created uh, all you saw on my, on my list of top top tonka bean fragrances this was right behind Feb Delicio so again before you can't get it at all, if you're a Tonka Bean fan, I would urge you guys to try to find yourself a bottle of this stuff. From the brand of Guerlain, this is Tonka Imperial. All right, when this line first came out, I went through uh, my collection and went through all of the samples that I had, and this was my favorite. Just off that first response, that initial you know, interaction with the fragrance, this was my favorite, and it still is. From the brand of Mind Games, this one is called French Defense. French Defense. This is black cherry, amber, and rose. Pretty much what you get with this. And guys, I've seen a, a few guys out, well, one or two guys that have said they weren't a fan of it that follow the channel. That's the thing about it. Like, everything that I like, a lot of you guys will like a lot of the stuff. You may not like everything that I like. And that's cool. That's what fragrance is about. You know, uh, your nose, our nose is not going to be the exact same. But for me, I absolutely love this stuff. I'm a huge fan of amber. And I love that black cherry in here. It's not like all the other cherry fragrances that I've been smelling because a lot of folks have been doing their take on cherry as of late. This is black cherry, so it's more seductive, more sexy, and that's my kind of thing. So check this one out, guys, from the brand of Mind Games, French Defense. Guys, if I were putting these in order, this might be my most prized uh, fragrance that I've been able to procure a bottle of this year. It's discontinued, it's really hard to find. I wish I could find this in 100. Does any, if anybody has this in 125 ml, hit me up. If anybody has this in 125 ml, hit me up. This is from the brand of Dior. This is Mitsa. Mitsa. This one is cardamom, cinnamon, rose, honey, and amber. And This fragrance is so good. Listen, I don't know if, I know Ombre Nuit is still readily available. This one is discontinued, so again, it's hard to find. And this is a big bottle. What is this, 8.4 ounces or something like that? Um, but this is one of those big bottles. I was able to find this, I wanna say this was on eBay maybe. Um, and it was almost a full bottle. I've gotten quite a bit of you know, usage out of it because I love it. I love amber fragrances. It kind of reminds me of Ombre Nuit, but it's a little spicier, and then you have that honey nuance to it. So good. So happy to have this in the collection, man. These are the kind of things that have been, that has has had my interest as a late. Fragrances like this. Stuff that is worth it, man. From the brand of Dior. Mitsa. And like I said, if anybody can find a 125 ml or has a 125 ml, hit your boy. And the last fragrance that I want to talk about comes from the brand of Frank Bocklet. This one is simply called Amber. Amber, and this is, of course, Amber, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Oregano. Now, this fragrance on a budget is one of the closest things I smell to Amber Absolute from Tom Ford. This smells very close to that. Not quite as smoky, but it's gonna definitely put you in the mindset of Amber Absolute. Um, amber Absolute is a, a smoky, incense amber fragrance. This is a little bit brighter, but it does have that oregano note in there that kind of gives it a little bit of a almost smoky quality. 
uh, to it. But guys, for the price that you're gonna pay for this, again, I think I got it on Fragrance Net for a pair, probably about 80 bucks, 70 bucks, somewhere in that range. Definitely worth it. And that's why it's on this list for me as one of my favorite pickups so far this year. Um, I talked about five fragrances from that whole collection that I think is worth it. This is definitely one of them. So check it out from the brand of Frank Bocklet. This is called Amber. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. What are some of your favorite pickups so far this year? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Voltai Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.